Emory Tibet Science Initiative is a landmark undertaking promoting the convergence of science and spirituality, an educational program specifically designed to teach modern science to Tibetan monastics. The year one sustainability phase summer pedagogy program begin on 6 May 2022. The 40-plus day-long program includes intensive courses in physics, biology, neuroscience, and science Buddhism integration. Around 100 selected monastic students who have completed six years of implementation phase coursework took part in the program and received in-depth training in science pedagogy via online from Depunglo Siling Meditation and Science Center in South India. The program also helped participants deepen their content knowledge in the respective ETSI disciplines. They learned different learning theories, learned to create syllabi and lesson plans that they would implement at their home institutions. The Tibet uh, Science Initiative uh, is a monastic science uh, education program uh, that started in 2006 uh, when His Holiness the Dalai Lama uh, invited Emory University to collaborate with uh, the Library of Tibetan Works and Archives uh, in creating a science curriculum for the Tibetan monastics. Uh, two cohorts of 91 uh, monks and nuns uh, from 21 monastic uh, institutions uh, participated in the five to six weeks of the ETSI pilot program at Saro College uh, in Dramsala from 2008 to 2013. In 2014, uh, we launched uh, the implementation phase program uh, at nine monasteries that had formally added uh, science to their uh, traditional curriculum. Uh, ETSI summer intensive program were hosted at three teaching sites, uh, Sera, uh, Gandhin and Debu. Uh, from 2014 to 2019, uh, we had uh, 1,496 monastics who have participated uh, in our program. Uh, currently, we have over 2,000 monks and nuns uh, that are enrolled in our science programs. Uh, we are now in the sustainability phase. Uh, in this phase, we are working uh, to nurture monastic science teachers and researchers. Uh, there are two components uh, to this phase, uh, pedagogy training uh, component in the summer and research and translation training component in the winter. Uh, this phase is for three years and the participants are drawn from uh, 10 monastic institutions, including uh, Changchup Chuling Nangri. Uh, we hope to produce uh, excellent monastic science teachers and leaders uh, who could make contribution to the monastic uh, science uh, programs and make themselves sustaining. I'm Geshe Tabke from Serachi Monastery, one of the monks who uh, participated in the Emory Tibet uh, Science Initiative right at the beginning. And, uh, and I also very good opportunity to study uh, Emory University, Atlanta, Georgia in USA, and a number of Tenzi um, scholars. Uh, I'm the one of the first cohort of Tenzi scholars. And uh, right now, I'm participating in uh, Emory Tibet um, uh, Sustainability Program, which is mainly uh, focus of the, in the past, Emory sent lots of professors to teach science at the monastery. But the, what they tend to do is, the, in order to uh, long time to um, uh, to study um, to um, consistent uh, science uh, study at the monastery, we also need our own teachers in the science faculties. That thing is right now the sustainability program trying to do that. So that is also very important. So that's where I'm participating in the uh, science, uh, sustainability program right now. And uh, why uh, Buddhist monks should study about the science? Especially we are studying in the Buddhist philosophy and especially in Nalanda traditions, which is basically to uh, trying to understand uh, nature of reality. And then science also same goal, understand of nature of realities. But in the science, in Buddhist philosophy, they have our own um, strength. And the, the Buddhist philosophy is mainly focused on the, how our mind and the mental factor works, and uh, such as meditation, all those things. 
and the science mainly focuses on the physical object, how our world works and how the atomic systems, how the particle works, all these things. So learning science helped a lot of the um, nature of physical realities. <laughs> My name is Denzin Chuanyang. I'm from Chengju Chilim Nanuri in Mongat. Since I studying modern science, my faith in the Lord Buddha has been grown immensely because there are many instances of his teaching that I discovered are supported by Western science. For example, interdependence, impermanent, and particle theory. Especially, there are many interesting topics in neuroscience which are related with the ancient Buddhist psychology.